Hi everyone, I hope you're doing awesome. My name is Nathan and today I want to give you a little bit of information about a problem I'm having with Oculus VR and Elite Dangerous in the hopes that it might help some of you who are also having this issue but also that maybe somebody who knows a bit more than I do about this stuff can give me some information. It might also just be buy more RAM but I'll explain. Before I do Again, my name is Nathan. I primarily make Magic the Gathering Online videos, which is what this greatnate.com stuff is all about. Uh, but I'm not doing that today. Uh, but if you like Magic, feel free to check it out. Uh, okay, so Elite Dangerous. What's happening? I have an issue where the head-mounted display occasionally lags. And I don't mean like judder or anything like that. It's like you're looking, everything seems fluid. And then suddenly as you turn, the image stays solid for half a second and then everything catches back up. Eventually, after it does this a few times, the image just stays on the last frame that was rendered. Um, and you get a little white hourglass in the bottom right hand corner. Now you can still see the game progressing behind, not behind the HMD, but on the screen in the little preview window. But the HMD itself doesn't show anything but whatever that last frame was. And the only way I've found to reset it is to exit the game and go back in. Um, now, I was able to find the following. Uh, let me get it pulled up here. Okay, so I was able to find the following um, in the Oculus log files. There's a bunch of these errors. Uh, IMU average latency too high. I did a little checking and that has to do with the tracking and what you see here is that the average CPU latency is 222 the average HMD latency is 9 I think this number is usually lower but uh, I think it gets driven up by these various spikes and then you see this P95 value which I think has to do I, I think that is what the immediate latency is when this error took place this it, it went above I guess 500 maybe that's what report rate means but it exceeded some value and it was written out to this log file. So that means that the CPU, if, if it's really a CPU latency issue, that means it's the CPU is unavailable for some reason. So I knew that some people had issue with the Xbox controller and latency and I, and I did a bunch of research into USB latency. I did some monitoring with some latency tools. Um, and while there is a lot of USB activity which you could expect there to be since the Oculus is plugged into it and so is the Xbox controller. Um, I couldn't find anything that actually correlated that latency with what I was seeing. Um, and I knew that it had to be CPU related, or at least I assumed because of this value, I just didn't know why. So after like many hours, I mean many of digging, and I finally was able to capture it using the Windows um, I was just going to show it to you. I'm not sure how this is going to pop up or how that's going to look on video because I just the screen blanked out. But I was able to use this Windows performance recorder to actually record the event happening. Now I've been able to do it multiple times now and then analyze everything with the Windows performance analyzer. Now this would all be way too long to type in like a Reddit post or a forum post. So I'm just going to show you how I what, what I found uh, on video. Um, now I could have all the analysis pulled up but I just walk you guys through it so you can kind of see how I derived the information. Uh, so let's first pull up the GPU utilization and this is actually still I don't know if it's zoomed in or not. Okay it is. And what you see are these dips in, in GPU utilization by Elite Dangerous. It's like all Elite, all Elite with a little bit here from the Oculus VR server, all Elite and then a drop with a corresponding blue spike and another drop with a corresponding blue spike many of these drops with corresponding blue parts. Um, so if we look, this blue spot is actually memory transfer and that was my first key. But what we're looking to see is that these latency tracking issues um, are due to, we're, we're trying to correlate this CPU P95 latency value with what we see here. So if we go in computation, find CPU uh, utilization by process, we see the same thing mirrored once this renders in that Elite Dangerous is utilizing the CPU and then suddenly it drops off um, and that's where this main issue that, that's where everything is actually occurring 
Uh, it's, you can see it happening multiple times. And then I think this one looks like it might be a little bit larger than the other ones. And maybe that's why eventually, uh, you know, the Oculus HMD loses sync. I'm not sure. But if we go ahead and zoom in here to this, uh, we can see it more clearly. The GPU is being utilized by Elite and then stops. And so that's, I think, why you're, I'm seeing the momentary freeze because nothing's really being rendered anymore. Um, and we see this unknown memory transfer stuff and then it, corresponding with CPU utilization, what we see is a, the system process being, uh, you know, completely taking, not completely taking over the CPU, there is still other stuff, but obviously as far as Elite and just about everything else is concerned, this is taking up the process or taking up the CPU. And so you could assume here that it's not responding or the Oculus service is being forced to wait for this. So I wanted to figure out what this is. It's obviously some, something to do with memory. Um, so I can go ahead and pull in this. Uh, if I go to memory, you see all these page faults. So I pull this in. The page faults actually correspond with the GPU utilization going down, the CPU utilization going down, and so we can zoom in on these as well. And if you look here, this is all taking place from 190.4 to 191.3, so just about a second. Um, there's all this these page faults occurring, um, and it's a lot of them. Just in this span, it's 163 page faults by system and it's these demand zero page faults which I looked it up and I believe that has something to do with oh whatever memory service just just making sure that some memory address space is cleared out or clear or something like that again I'm not an expert uh, getting like this granular with with how the system functions um, but essentially that's kind of what's happening uh, the GPU stops doing things for Elite Dangerous. There's no utilization in these spots, which definitely is causing spikes. The CPU um, does very little for other things. It, it's, pri it's primarily being used at this point by this system, which is, again, I think this is kernel, NVIDIA, you know, I don't know if it's the GPU paging out to the page file. Um, I, I know that it, it was kind of weird. I, if I remember looking at the system memory, I felt like, well, Elite Dangerous is only using like six gigs, and I had several gigs of memory left, but I'm still going to try to buy more memory just to see if that fixes it. And I mean, why not? More RAM, how it's not going to hurt anybody or hurt anything, I guess, except my pocketbook. Um, but RAM's not that expensive. So I, I don't know if it's at the system's running out of memory. I don't know if the GPU's running out of memory. Um, you know, I know I've run intensive games before and I've never seen this. This doesn't happen to me in any other system uh, besides, or any other game besides Elite. Hold on, I'm going to check something. Right, so that's more or less it. Um, you can see these spikes here, 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 where basically this whole page file thing is occurring um, it's actually it looks like it's happening in smaller amounts here let's see if I is there one happening here if I zoom in yeah there is they're just not it's 10,000 of them it's just not quite as um, abundant so I, I guess that just kind of further confirms my suspicions it's like you get you get some page faults and as I guess more memory is utilized or as the game progresses you eventually get one in which there is see they're getting progressively larger the page faults until eventually you get one that's so big I think it ties the CPU up for just long enough to cause the rift head mounted display to desync from or lose connection to the, the software um, alright guys that's it hopefully uh, if you're having this problem hopefully this gives you some information if you can help with this problem uh, reply on Reddit or this forum post wherever you're reading this at. Um, I'm going to buy some more RAM, so I'll let you guys know if that fixes it. That's it, guys. I hope you're having fun playing Elite. I hope you're having fun with your Oculus Rifts. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.